The Way 12 Strong, the latest in the growing wearisome trend of FS based on true stories, is put together like watching a fireman save a kitten from a burning apartment. What really happened is heroic, but there are those who would suggest the rescue would be far more spectacular if instead of an apartment it was a dynamite factor, the kitten should be replaced by a dozen orphans and the fireman has to stop in the middle of the inferno to stare lovingly at a photo of his cute as a button young daughter. All the extras don't support the story, but push it so far into the overdramatics of Hollywood that the final product is boated from too many cinematic steroids. There's a fine line between showing the horrors of war and making it look almost fun to gallop at full speed on a steed while in, without limits. The film makes the mistake of crossing that line instead of banking on what at the heart is a real American hero story. 12 Strong, a title that suffers from some math woes through much of the looks at the team of special forces soldiers from Fort Campbell, Guy, who traveled to Afghanistan just weeks after the attacks on the World Trade Center in 2001. The real story is one of 12 heroic souls who through working with local warlords delivered a heavy blow to the Taliban. Advertising in red invented by Teeds the story would have been enough to spot eye the accomplishment of the men. But the screenplay by Ted Talley and Peter Craig, based on the book Horse Soldiers, the extraordinary story of a band of U.S. soldiers who rode to victory in Afghanistan by Doug Stanton, has been amped up to make the events look like the biggest military operation involving horses since the charge of the Light Brigade. If you notice, Stanton focused the title of his book on how the soldiers had to ride horses because of the rugged terrain. Calling the film 12 Strong feels weird because for a large hunk of the production, the team is split into two groups of six, and then later it is divided even more. The only time they are together is the long helicopter ride into hostile territory. War stories can either be pure action or work as a reminder that underneath all the bravado beats the heart of a husband, wife, mother, father, sister, brother the 12 were all men. The script by Tally and Craig can't get away from the family stories fast enough, and that eliminates the sentimental attachment the audience needs to be fully invested in the players. Without the human touch, 12 Strong might as well be a really good video game where players have to ride horses into battles against tanks and rockets. Relatively untested director Nikolai Falsig embraces the video game concept by having the soldiers ride horses into battling bad guys with perfect aim and never stopping to reload. At the heart of this dusty dozen is Captain Mitch Nelson Chris Hemsworth who gives up a desk job to go to war after the events of 9-11. Hemsworth gets to use his superhero aura and likable nature to play the man who is supposed to win the trust local leader General Dostrom Navid Negaban. They form a bond, but the few moments Hemsworth's character spends with his wife has far more emotional power than all of the long talks in the field. The rest of the cast is filled with the same familiar band of brothers that have been populating military films for decades, including Michael Peña as the cautious member of the team who learns a new respect for the man in charge and Michael Shannon as the crusty veteran who has said goodbye to his family one too many times. One of the most bizarre bits of casting is comedian Rob Riggle as Colonel Max Bowers. Some comedians have the acting SS to make an audience believe they can handle a dramatic role. Riggle doesn't have such SS, and every scene he is in looks more like the beginning of a comedy sketch than a serious war drama. If all you want from a military is unrestrained action that will spark a deep wave of patriotism, then 12 Strong accomplishes that. That's enough to get a passing grade, but there could have been so much better if it had focused a little more on stories of the heart rather than tales of muscle. That would have made this 12 stronger. Sometimes just saving a kitten is enough. 12 strong two stars cast, Chris Hemsworth, Michael Peña, Michael Shannon, Rob Riggle, Navid Negaban. Director, Nikolai Falsig. Rated, R for war violence, language. Running time, 130 minutes. Distributed by Tribune Content Agency, LLC. Photo for help with images, contact 312-222-4194.